Hi, my name is Evan P.A., and in this video I'll be describing sabermetrics. What is sabermetrics? Well, sabermetrics at its most basic form is the study of the game of baseball through observation. It's the empirical objective analysis of baseball through statistics used to predict player performance. On the last slide we saw the name Bill James mentioned. Bill James wrote a book in 1977 called Baseball Abstract that changed the way we look at baseball forever. He's known as the pioneer of sabermetrics, setting the groundwork for the statistical analyses that are widely accepted today. He's currently the senior advisor on baseball operations at the Boston Red Sox, and with them he's won four World Series championships, most recently just this past year, 2018. Here we see a brief history of sabermetrics. The last point on the timeline is 2003, and this is when Michael Lewis released his book titled Moneyball, which was when the use of sabermetrics started to become more widely understood and accepted. This is a chart with some of the more basic traditional statistics that have historically been used to indicate player success. While somewhat useful, they're not truly indicative of the best and worst players. Many traditional statistics, such as RBIs, depend on the opportunity and the contribution of a player's teammates. Placing too much value on these stats leads to an inaccurate representation of a player's performance. Sabermetrics attempts to provide a more accurate representation of player performance by taking more individual factors into account. Here's a short clip illustrating some inefficiencies of traditional statistics. There was a problem with batting average and people recognized this a long time ago. This is a correlation between team runs scored for a whole season. So you basically take a team, you measure their runs scored for that season, and you correlate it with all their batting averages. Now batting average was the standard metric for hitting performance for the longest time. But even 100 years ago, people said this isn't good enough. And it actually has a fairly low correlation. Not as bad as this graph. This is the graph I always show when I do these talks because it's got no correlation. Okay, same x-axis, team run scored. Take any given team in a season, count their runs scored, but then you, you, you try to plot it against the number of outs they record on defense. Now, these should not be correlated because one's offense scoring runs and one is defense preventing runs. So these are some of the more popular sabermetrics categories used in baseball today, and I'll go through a couple in detail. Wins above replacement. Wins above replacement, or WAR, is an attempt to answer the single most important question in baseball. How valuable is each player to his team? The goal is to provide an independent, objective, and holistic measure of player value. So here's the formula for position players on top. And then on the bottom, we have the formula for pitchers, which is similar in format with pitcher-relevant statistics inserted into the formula. One important detail that I want to note in the pitcher formula is FIP, or Fielding Independent Pitching. Fielding Independent Pitching is a measure of a pitcher's ability regardless of the fielders behind him. So it's strictly based on the individual's performance. These are a couple graphics on war. We see the top right, the caliber of player described by their wins above replacement. So a player with above a 6 war is an MVP caliber player, and so on. This brings us to OPS. OPS is a more efficient measure of hitting ability than batting average because it's a combination of on-base percentage and slugging. On-base percentage measures how often a hitter reaches base, whether through a hit, walk, or being hit by a pitch. Slugging percentage measures power by evaluating total bases reached per at-bat. So, if a player hits a double, which requires more power than a single, they reach two total bases rather than one. OPS is just a combination of the two. Finally, another one of Bill James's inventions, the Pythagorean Theorem of Baseball. The Pythagorean Theorem of Baseball relates the number of runs a team has scored and given up to its actual winning percentage. 
James concluded that this ratio is more indicative of a team's ability than their actual record. The theory is that over time, a team's actual record will approach the Pythagorean expected win-loss record, and not the other way around. This theorem has actually proven fairly accurate, and the average difference between actual and expected wins is slightly less than three games, which, in a 162-game season, is not very many. And these are some of the sources that I referenced. Uh, the last one is the full video of the clip that we saw earlier in the presentation, which I highly recommend. Thanks for watching.